And the U.S. Senate race is heating up in Montana as Governor Steve Bullock and Re 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 Republican incumbent Senator Steve Daines faced off in their third debate Saturday night. Virtually, One America's Emily Lambert has more. The Democrat governor of Montana and Republican incumbent senator face off in their third debate of Montana's U.S. Senate race. The debate was held virtually Saturday night out of an abundance of caution in response to the coronavirus. Governor Steve Bullock entered the Senate race in March after his presidential bid failed to gain traction and term limits prevented him from seeking gubernatorial re-election. And Senator Steve Daines, a former businessman, has received an endorsement from President Trump and has frequently touted the president's pandemic response. The ongoing pandemic was central to several of the topics covered throughout the debate. Governor Bullock accused Senator Daines of stalling on efforts to aid Americans amid the ongoing pandemic, which he ardently denied. That's flat out false. Here's what concerns me here in Montana. We sent Governor Bullock $1.25 billion in April. He sat on those funds, has not even spent up to 50% of it yet to help Montanans. The two went on to discuss health care, with Governor Bullock saying he wants to take on drug companies. So look, I do think we need to build on what we have. And the best way to actually do that is to finally start taking on the drug companies, is but one example. Start paying, not just for repeated tests, but for results. We can do more, but Steve Daines wants to strip away all that coverage from all of us. When the conversation moved to Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett, Senator Daines jumped to praise President Trump's pick for the nation's highest court. Justice Barrett will protect Montana's Second Amendment rights. She will also ensure that she will stand up against these radical environmental groups that have shut down timber projects, shut down the Keystone Pipeline, which, by the way, the judge that shut down the Keystone Pipeline is a judge that Steve Bullock supported and put on the bench. In response, Governor Bullock said he's open to packing the Supreme Court if Barrett is successfully confirmed. Throughout the debate, each of the candidates attacked the other's record and ties to their party leaders. The race has become a target in Democrats' efforts to flip the upper chamber, making it one of the most expensive election cycles of the state's history. Emily Lambert, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.